What is up everybody, Night Batman here again doing another movie review and today I'm going to be reviewing Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice The Ultimate Edition. Now if you guys would like to see my review for Batman v Superman The Theatrical Cut, please check the link in the description below and check that out. And if you want to, you can see how my review for that theatrical cut will differ from this Ultimate Edition. Now when I heard that the this Ultimate Edition was coming out with 30 minutes of extra footage, I was still really excited even though the the original version kind of had me a little let down but I was really really anticipating to see how much this version would differ from the theatrical cut and I gotta say right now that I was not disappointed. With the Ultimate Edition it has 30 minutes of extra footage and it also has some scenes in uh, that uh, playing in different order than they do in the theatrical cut and a lot of this really helps the narrative of the story flow a lot better and also let me say that this is gonna be a spoiler review so please be uh, ready if you guys haven't seen this ultimate edition now some scenes like the Africa scene uh, are actually pretty different they have a lot of extra footage in that because uh, this actually shows way more how Superman was blamed for that event even though in the theatrical cut we hear and in this ultimate edition we hear how he was blamed for uh, the deaths of the people in Africa this actually shows a more plausible reason where uh, there are these people who were burnt to death but they're actually uh, burnt to death by the by the KGB agent uh, who was employed by Lex Luthor and who started to shoot everyone up um, he actually did use a flamethrower to burn them up so it looks like Superman actually did kill them and what I also liked was how there was an extra rescue there where he s destroys the missile and the drone from blowing up the place and uh, from killing the people as well as Lois who are in the area and what I also like is how the woman who uh, tells the story about everything that happened in Africa is actually uh, a paid actress by Lex Luthor. And that is something that was really important because that helps sell how much uh, a lot of this was orchestrated by Lex and how he's really trying to get the role to turn on Superman and to uh, even have Bruce Wayne Batman get angrier towards uh, Superman and feel more hostile towards him and feel the need to take him down. And... What I like is how the overall story, it, it, it just really does help you feel uh, more sympathetic towards Superman because you see more of how he's struggling to deal with how people see him and how he really wants to do good. But um, these things like even the bombing in the Senate, it, uh, it really does make him feel guilty. And I love how that extra scene of Superman rescuing the people from the bombing and just looking around and seeing all the death caused by it. Uh, he's, he really does question... Uh, where he is uh, as Superman and if it's even doing any good and that just really does make him feel even more engaging here than in the theatrical cut which is really disappointing that a lot of people had to see the theatrical cut over this because with the way the order of scenes are and how they fully flesh out a lot more scenes you really do get a feel for the characters even more so not just Superman but even Batman and even Alfred and uh, even you get to see uh, how even Lois' in, uh, investigation really does help uh, put the pieces together and I like how even how she finds out how Lex fits into everything really uh, makes the story more dramatic and even when I was watching this Ultimate Edition I, I really felt like I wanted to see this movie again right after it ended because it felt like a real superhero drama and uh, because uh, not only for super, the two heroes involved but also as a character drama and I just I really like that about this it felt like a way more superior movie to the theatrical cut even though yeah some of the problems like Batman's brutality were where some people were killed uh, as a result of Batman. Sure, not directly, but uh, uh, Batman is kind of involved with it. Sure, that is still there, but the overall movie just flows so much more better and it really helps show more of the acting capabilities of the actors and actresses in this movie. And it really does show how much of a great cast this is. And I'm glad that a lot of people who have seen the Ultimate Edition are starting to even be apologetic towards Zack Snyder because uh, it feels like they are more angry towards Warner Brothers for having the 30 minutes cut. And uh, Zack Snyder really does deserve... Uh, praise for this ultimate edition because you can tell this is the intended movie he wanted but unfortunately I think the reason w uh, Warner Brothers wanted 30 minutes out was because they wanted to maximize viewings and uh, if they have a three hour cut they wouldn't have as many showings as they could in the movies which would uh, lessen how much money they can get in and that really did hurt the movie but this three hour cut is way more superior and way more enjoyable than the theatrical cut. Gotta give big props to Zack Snyder for this three hour uh, version and that 
they were even able to release this Ultimate Edition because this is by far a superior uh, uh, movie and it felt like a Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice that we really would have enjoyed had they released this in the theater. And uh, this even makes me hope that it, uh, when they do do a Justice League sequel that Zack Snyder can hopefully return for that. They said that he will only do Justice League but I hope that he can do Justice League too because that would be really great if we can really round it all up with uh, Green Lantern being added into the roster. Again, back to the movie, it really does a good job of uh, making you uh, support Superman and wanting to stop Batman when he, uh, all the extra scenes of Clark Kent in Gotham investigating Batman really uh, does show how Superman wants to just put a stop to Batman. This really does uh, do ju more justice to Superman and it does show that Zack Snyder does really understand the, the characters of Batman and Superman because when I see Superman just struggling with who he is and Sure, people say that this Superman is more mopey and stuff, but this is a Superman who is more vulnerable because he is being very outcasted by the world. Not the the world entirely, but he's just being, uh, he's really putting into question uh, if he is doing any good and if the world will ever even accept him. And uh, that's what I like about this. Superman can be at his most vulnerable when he feels most human because even though he is not from Earth, he does have uh he does feel human and uh you know like all of us we we like our emotions make us uh put us they put us in our weakest in our weakest points and um with all this negative outlook that the world is having on superman it is putting him in a pretty dark place but i what i do like how with this ultimate edition as the story flows and we see superman continue doing what he's doing it feels like uh it feels more triumphant on his end how uh, he would actually give his life to stop Doomsday to not only save Lois but also the world and even though uh, they have such a negative look on him uh, it feels his it, it even made his death feel way more impactful and way way more emotional than even the theatrical cut could ever have done so I really did enjoy the extra 30 minutes and the the change of uh, order of scenes in this movie it really helps so much in making the story flow better and uh, making for some really engaging characters so for overall I gotta give this Ultimate Edition of Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice a 4.5 out of 5. The only reason I didn't give it a, a straight up 5 out of 5 is because it felt like Batman's brutality was a little too much even though they do kind of try and explain that he is in a darker place here in this movie. Uh, it, it still feel like it they could have done without that and sh there were still some uh, dumb things that uh, certain characters do that uh, I wish that they didn't and also because I, I was hoping that maybe uh, Batman and Superman fought on their own accord and not just because Lex made uh, Superman fight uh, Batman just because he held his mother hostage uh, because they already had enough reason to fight but uh, Lex's plan there was a little, uh, it really didn't need to be done, but I'm not really losing points for that. It's just, again, it's just some of the things that some characters do, they, again, weren't really smart. Uh, but yeah, I think that overall this movie was far more superior and it, it felt like a, a superhero drama to me. And I think that this is a way better entry into the DC Extended Universe than the theatrical cut ever was. So I'm definitely gonna really urge people to see the Ultimate Edition over the theatrical cut. Hopefully they can just not even show that theatrical version anymore and they could just uh, have the Ultimate Edition be shown everywhere because this is definitely a better movie and I hope everyone can check this out. So that's been my review for Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice the Ultimate Edition. If you guys would like to share any uh, Anything you uh, enjoyed about the Ultimate Edition, if you have seen it, or even if you just uh, want to just talk about your favorite scenes, please feel free to share those in the comments below and I'll check that out. So thank you guys so much for watching and take care. Bye.